everyone, it's Rachel, and today I'm here with my Crafts of the Week video. So I'm sorry that it took me a while to get this up, it's just because I've been busy, and I just started working on my schoolwork not that long ago, so school started for me now, so I had a little less time for crafting, and I'm running really low on duct tape. I haven't had very much money lately because I spent a lot of money in New York, and I had to owe my mom and dad some money because I wasn't expecting to go on that trip so I had to kind of pay that off but I do have some crafts to show you guys I showed you a little bit of a preview in my last update video so let's get started I have this Lego Superman drawing and this was all drawn by me it did not do any tracing there wasn't any tracing involved I just looked at a picture and drew it and basically it's all filled in with Bic markers so I think it turned out really cool I really like it Okay, so now for the duct tape crafts. So I have four slick wallets to show you guys. First, I have this graffiti, the old graffiti, and it's all lined up, and this didn't take me as long as I thought I would. I never used this tape because I found it so hard, and then all of a sudden, I just decided to use it, and it was actually really easy for me to line up, so I guess it's just because I've improved as a duct taper, and it's a little easier to line things up for me now. But on the inside, there are four slick pockets, and they are tan and... The graffiti and this was the first real slick wallet that I had ever made I had made one before for a contest but it wasn't very good so this is the first real one so here are the third pocket and the fourth pocket and then I have these two hiddens now the thing is my hiddens aren't actually sealed they open like this so because I couldn't figure out how to do it without having any fold over lines on the side so I just didn't seal up the hidden, hidden pockets but they don't fall out as you can see I'm really trying to shake it and it's not falling out so that's good <clears throat> and then here's the other hidden pocket so it's kind of cool that you can put it in from either side and it doesn't fall out And then there's a cookie dough billfold. Also guys, I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little weird. It's because I didn't lose it, but it got kind of scratchy because I yelled yesterday. <laughs> and it's really scratchy now because I was at a baseball game and it got really exciting and I like yelled at the top of my lungs and almost lost my voice, but I'm okay now. It's just a little scratchy, so it might sound a little weird. Then I have another graffiti wallet and it's all lined up again. And this one is with orange. So there's the first one. Second one. Third one. And then instead of a fourth one, I have an ID here. So there's that. And then here are my hidden pockets. As you can see. And then there's a orange billfold. These wallets are for sale. Please PM me if you are interested and I will tell you the prices of these two. Then I made this next one. It's not my favorite because I did mess up a little, but I think overall it still turned out okay. It's the red, white, and blue waves all lined up. And on the inside it's paired with dark blue, ocean blue. So there's one card pocket. Two card pocket third one and then there's an ID right there and the only reason I don't really like this wallet is because over here you can kind of see this part show over and I don't like that but I guess that's okay it's not perfect but it's nothing to get really upset about and then there's the second hidden pocket and then there's a ocean blue billfold. Then I have this slick wallet, and this one hasn't been pressed yet. These two have, and these two haven't. But this is with the Scotch Chevron tape, and it's all lined up. So on the inside, it's paired with the ocean blue. There are four slick pockets. So here's the first one, the second one. third one and fourth one and then two hiddens and these two do not come out either 
I'm probably going to make a tutorial of these pretty soon because they are pretty fun to make. I'm probably going to just make a lot of my bifold slick wallets from now on. And then there's a ocean blue billfold. And I think all of these wallets are for sale, so if you want any of these bifold wallets, just PM me to ask the prices. They're not going to be overpriced, I just don't know how much I'm going to price these two for yet. Then I have a organizer wallet and it is rainbow with orange and lime green with black velcro. So it's all lined up and the there's no fold over lines for the strap. So on the inside there's a ID trimmed in green, lime green. So there's the ID and then there is a lime green billfold here. And then there are five credit card holders. Here's the first one, does not show over. Two, three, four, and five. <clears throat> and then over here is the pin holder, and this wallet is going to be for sale as well. So all these wallets that you're seeing here are going to be for sale, and this will come with the pin that's in it right now, and it's just a orange pin holder. And then over here, there's another lime green billfold. So guys, that was my crafts of the week. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, just um, PM me or email me at Simply Duck Designs if you're interested in any of these wallets and I will give you the prices for them. So I hope you guys liked all my crafts and I will talk to you all soon.